Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Trogdor, and welcome back to the PTL. It's week number two, ladies and gentlemen, and my opponent is OG Albina, and his new team, the Shanghai Dragapults. Uh, we played in another league where I um, <clears throat> used Dragonite and just kind of, yeah. So, uh, we're, we're in a new, um, well, I think that's his first... Uh, uh, season in the PTL so not our first time battling but the first time officially in the PTL so yeah where the blah, blah 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 words um let's take a look at my opponent's team real quick uh I should have had the dock pulled up right now but basically his team is super scary you already see the six that he brings like because I'm a professional but let's um understand why I brought the six that I brought. So he's obviously rocking the Zero Aura, which, oh god, that, that Pokemon, I swear, it's like, it's almost the bane of my existence. Mamoswine is another thing that's just like, ah, um, Mamoswine, it's like, oh, your switchings don't exist. Uh, he's also got Reuniclus, Lucario, Alcrimi, Jellicent, Flapple, Garbodor, Leopard, and Dottler. And honestly, I was expecting five of these six to come in my prep. Uh, I also expected Reuniclus to come over Alcrimi. So as such, I've, my uh, Sir Fetched is a Sword Sand variant with um, Knockoff. I've also got, well, Skuntank kind of like bodies the Reuniclus as well. So, okay, let's let's talk about my team. So Sticky Fingers, Gastrodon, is rocking an Assault Vest. Because, number one, I needed to be able to switch into Zero Aura's uh, um, Thunder Fists or whatever. And I needed to be able to tank a Grass Knot and KO back with Earth Power. That's the that's the rhyme and reason behind my Gastrodon set. I was ac I'm really looking forward to, to using it. So, um, it, it does well versus... Even it... Even does decently well versus a freeze dry Mamoswine. Like, because of the Assault Vest, because of Mamoswine's, like, not the best in the world special attack, but I'm not hitting back super hard with, like, Scald. It's just, like, there to be like, haha, you can't uh, fool me, Mr. F Mamoswine Man. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I've got Duraludon, which is basically there to get up my rocks. I really need rocks because I'm looking for removal on his team and I don't see it. So I could have brought like a hazard stacking, um, what do you call it, Excelgore, but there's just other things I needed on my team. Like, Skuntank was the last addition to my team. I'll just talk about that in a little bit. So, Chandelure. I went through so many different sets on Chandelure. I'm drinking water because my throat is super hecked up right now, so if I cough a lot, that's why, and if I drink water, that's why. Uh, so, I needed something to outpace Zero Aura, and it just so happens that Scarf Chandelure does that well. Chandelure, however, speed ties with Mamoswine. So if he's rocking his Scarf Mamoswine, Max Speed Jolly, and I'm rocking my Scarf Chandelure, Max Speed Timon, and we get to that speed tie point, that's going to be like... I, I'm the kind of person who will risk that and click the button, uh, because after Rocks Fire Blast, uh, Chaos Mamoswine, uh, because Chandelure is just ridiculous, and, and that's a Thick Fat Mamoswine. Uh, if he's any other item, like, if he's AV, uh, of course he does, he, of course I don't kill and he'll just blow me back with Earthquake, so I gotta pay attention to white item if he is. If he, like, he, he could still bluff rocks turn one and stuff, he could still, like, you know, get all cheeky about all that. Um, Chandler does amazing otherwise, like, it does a ton of damage to Zero Aura. If I get, like, a couple rounds of rocks on it, Fire Blast is blowing it back, Shadow Ball is doing a ton. Uh, Fire Blast is just, like, doing a lot of damage to everything except the, um, uh, like, the Jellison and Reuniclus tanks it well. I've also, Shadow Ball does a ton of damage to Reuniclus. Uh, a couple mocks did have the, I think it's Kebia Berry that, uh, is the Ghost Berry. So, it could be that variant of Reuniclus to deal with my Chandelure properly. Um... And then I've got my rapid spinning um, Serena. So the one of the bigger problems this team had was actually with the Garbodor because of how easily it can just gra grab a couple toxic toxic layers of spikes, layers of toxic spikes. Wow, English, good job. So 
I needed not just my spinner, but also my grounded poison type in Skun Tank just to get rid of the toxic because I, I don't want Gastrodon to be toxic. I'm pretty sure I put Facade on my Surfetch just in case, and I don't want Chandelure to get worn down a lot, so that's the quick recap. Let's get into it. He brought the six. I was really surprised not to see Reuniclus. That really freed up Surfetch, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, lead with Duraludon to get rocks, so I assume he's going to get his Toxic Spikes, but he goes for the regular Spikes instead, which is pretty decent for me, so I just drop a Draco, and that's doing... um. A decent amount of damage um, also fun fact besides the alchemy he uh, didn't have a Draco switch in but it's still not doing a ton uh, and alchemy of course is just donked by flash cannon so I, I drop a Draco I say like why not I'll go for another one Jellison comes in um, I was actually half predicting the alchemy so I went for the flash cannon right there but because my special attack is lowered it's doing like nothing so I go into Sir Fetch and he goes for the Will-O-Wisp. So luckily, <laughs> so luckily I thought to myself, uh, oh, Reuniclus isn't here. I can be a little bit riskier with Sir Fetch, but right away it gets burned. And I'm just thinking like, ah, wah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I mentioned I was getting over a, a flu. So Sir Fetch comes in and I'm just like, huh, YOLO it. So I think I can still do like uh, sword dancing and stuff. And now anything will um, bring down those Garbodor, like this knockoff right here. But his aftermath and the rocky helmet and the burden damage, it's just like, okay, uh, Chariot, you um, you did a thing, so I'm just gonna die to Mammoth Swine to kind of scout out what it is. And his life orb! Guys! Guys, it's so easy for me to just bring in Chandelure and start clicking buttons now. Once, once I scouted Mammoth Swine, that's another reason why I really, really do not like life orb. If this was an E-Belt Mammoth Swine, I would have still just been like, question mark? But it's Life Orb. So now I know, I outspeed it. Uh, it's got enough damage where I can dunk it with Fire Blast. Whatever comes in next, I'm doing a ton of damage. So I'm just gonna click buttons now. So Mammoth Swine goes down. So Zero Aura comes in and it's taken one round of rocks. And I did a calculation to see how much damage I was doing. Um, the calc that I did said that it was a roll to KO at this range. I later realized that calc was at naive nature, so minus spadef, which, unless he is running a mixed zero, which, like, come on, let's be real. So, I'm, I'm gonna outspeed, I'm gonna do damage, but in my head I was like, it's a roll, kind of not really in my favor, but I'm just gonna click buttons, and yeah. So I, I click the button, and oh look, I get rewarded for my awful, like, decision d d damage calculations. Um, so yeah, Chandelure just like gets two kills, and at that point my opponent's like, yeah, that's a good game. Um, cause I haven't even brought in my Gastrodon, which is like the best set in the entire universe, but uh, I haven't gotten to show it off yet. So of course I'm not gonna be staying in versus the Jellison, I'm gonna go into my Skun Tank, because I don't think I actually properly talked about my Skun Tank set. So I needed the Dark Stab to deal with uh, this thing, as well as uh, Reuniclus, but uh, Reuniclus isn't here. Uh, and someone pointed out to me that Lucario is going to switch in and, like, you, you know, use the Justified boost. So why not go for a Substitute? So my big brain was like, oh, I can be a fully physical set with Stab and Dig. Because it's two switches to Dig get donked by Stab. And then a very wise person said, no, just run Fire Blast. So I'm running sub uh, three attacks on the skunk tank with Black Sludge. So sure enough, he switches out the Jellicent, and I go for the sub right here. And Fire Blast is a two hit KO on this Lucario. Um, it of course doesn't help that he missed that Meteor Mash, but in just a little bit, I'm also gonna miss a Fire Blast. So it's kind of even for even. So there you go. And I, and I can tank another um, Meteor Mash at this range anyway. So. But he's also Life Orb, and yeah, Fire Blast uh, takes it out. So now he's got Alchemy and Jellicent, both of which I'm faster, and they die to my stab. So it's just kind of like, yeah, Skun Tank, good job. Um, he goes for the Calm Mind right here. Uh, maybe he thought I was fully special. But yeah, at that point, my opponent threw on the towel, and I won. So I just kind of figured a Skun Tank would get the last two KOs. A real powerhouse right there. Um, shout out to Gastrodon and Serena to, for not doing anything. Um... 
Yeah, so after our 0-4 loss, we actually pick up a decent win right here, 5-0. and So two weeks and we're in the positive, which is great. And I can keep up this momentum because I have a really tough season ahead of me. But not gonna lie, gamers, I was really scared of this team, but I brought enough spice to deal with it. And oh yeah, I got a couple crits and my opponent missed. And uh, yeah, so some skill, some luck, some just me making questionable decisions but then again uh what it, it wouldn't be pokemon if your opponent made plays that you say don't make any sense and you get blown back by them so yeah that's the game everyone uh definitely check out my opponent's channel i i don't know um if my opponent's uploading the ptl but definitely uploads like other jazz um and yeah stay tuned for more of the ptl and i may or may not have other leagues coming as well stay tuned for that jazz so yeah thanks everyone for watching i'll see everyone in the next one uh, don't forget to like uh if you like the video comment down below if you got anything to say and yeah subscribe for more ptl all right thanks for watching everyone i'll see you in the next one take care now Bye bye